So that's some um, pretty interesting coincidence because while I was creating this little uh, intro video, um, actually Scoreflash went live on the asset store. So if you want to use this for your scores or tutorials or achievements or whatever creative idea you come up with, um, yeah, you can download it right now in the asset store, in the Unity asset store. So uh, once you've done that, um, it's really easy. So all you need is um, here, um, there's three um, folders, edit folder, plugins folder. You might already have these in your project. Um, uh, the interesting part here is obviously the readme. You should really read that, or maybe you've already done that. And then here on the plugins, Noriana Games, Scoreflash, you find the magical prefab. And you could pull that right into your scene, hit play. And there you go. And then you can start configuring um, uh, your score flash. And one really important thing, as you can see here, there's a custom inspector. You could also use the default inspect inspector if you so wish. Um, but I want to show you here: keep changes after play. Make sure that this is checked uh, once, as as long as you're configuring uh, score flash, because. Um, if you don't, um, the changes will disappear as usual in U Unity once you um, once you stop playing. Uh, but now, as you can see, I can make any changes. I can like change this curve here, for instance, to make the um, initial offset a little bit more extreme. Here, you'll see that very immediately. And this might not be such a great idea from an artistic point of view, but. Um, it's nice for the demonstration purposes. I'm going to make that really extreme and uh, I can change these uh, colors oops, um, to be a little bit more, well, a little more, more decent. <laughs> um, maybe just use some white tones, don't make it all that extreme. As you can see, there's there's a lot of um, settings here that you can tweak. Um, these are all documented, and there's a longer screen cost that goes um, into all the details. Um, so what I wanted to show you is once you stop playing, all the changes are still there, and also once you've completed configuration of this, um, uh, you can switch off auto generate messages. You could still type in messages like hello world for instance and say show message and then it'll show you the message um, so that's really convenient for testing i hope you enjoy it um, as mentioned before all the settings um, are explained in another tutorial video and also in the documentation so um, let me just show you one more thing here right in the package um, there's asset store examples once you've learned how to use it you can actually delete that folder so it doesn't clutter your project so there's um three example scripts and these are super super simple <laughs> um, as you will see in a second so here's the c sharp script um, and this is really all you need to do score flash dot instance dot show and then any sort of text that you want to show in um, in this case, um, the text is defined here, and yeah, you can spread that anywhere. Since this is a single, and you don't need to get a reference to score flash, it's really easy. Um, and yeah, as you can see in JavaScript, it looks exactly the same. And I think also in Boo, yeah, it also looks the same, and only um, Sublime text, unfortunately, doesn't know Boo. Sorry about that. I didn't know Boo before I created this myself, and still don't really know Boo, but I think there's a few users out there that hopefully will appreciate it. Um, as mentioned, it's not su such a big deal. Um, yeah, and there's... Um, I don't want to change... I want to say that there's a few example scenes here um, that you can play around with, but yeah, there's really not that much to it. So um, the only other thing that I want to show you um, real quick, as mentioned before, you can delete that. Now your project is clean and that's really the stuff you need. Um, what I want to show you is I've added um, a few entries in the help menu. Um, one goes uh, right to the documentation, uh, which has a few links to the API and um, all the fields that are relevant. Um, and this is what the... Um, 
use default inspector is really good for because in the default inspector these fields have the same names as they are here in the documentation so it's much easier to find things and in the custom inspector I've actually made the names of these fields or, or the labels of fields um, uh, so that um, hopefully an artist will very easily um, get along with that. So it's it's not technical, it's more like from, from an artist's um, point of view because obviously artists should be able to use that very easily. That's something that the artist does while um, this is what the coders do in C Sharp or JavaScript or Boo or whatever. Um, so yeah, here that's, um, that's this. Um, default inspector or the custom inspector. And then there is also in the help menu, um, score flash on unity forums. So that's uh, this um, forum posting. So if you have any questions or comments or something, um, yeah, feel free to um, use the forms, the unity forms for that. And then um, finally, that's another thing if you, um, want to report a problem, like if you have some sort of issue, if you maybe found a bug or something like that, um, make sure to send a message to issues at narayanagames.net so that I can deal with that as soon as possible and just make sure of score flash problem, please fix, and then make sure that you give me all the information and maybe I'll get in contact with you about it if, yeah, if you find any problems. Hopefully, hopefully you won't find any problems. Um, but it's always good to be prepared for these kinds of things. So, um, yeah, I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to see what you're going to do with um, Scoreflash and hope you enjoyed this um, short introduction. And um, if you wish, there's a, a longer introduction and tutorial, as mentioned before, that goes into all the details. So, yeah, I'm really excited um, to hear from you and uh, hope very much that you will enjoy using Scoreflash now available on the Unity Asset Store. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.